Big Panda and Tiny Dragon. Author James Norberry. This book is dedicated to everyone who gets lost. Chapter 1 Spring. Be brave. You never know what a first meeting meeting might lead to. A new day and a new beginning, said Tiny Dragon. What shall we do with it? Which is more important, asked Big Panda, the journey or the destination? The company, said Tiny Dragon. I'm too busy to see the flower right now, said Tiny Dragon. All the more reason then to look at them, said Big Panda. And they might not be here tomorrow. Isn't nature incredible? The tiny dragon. It is, agreed Big Panda. We are just as much a part of nature as the tree or the spider, and just as amazing. Big Panda, said Tiny Dragon. I like the way you listen to me, and talk to me, and travel with me. But most of all, I like the way you make me feel. Try to make time for the small things, said Big Panda. They are often the most important. The most important thing, said Big Panda is to pay attention. Just because you don't know where you are, it doesn't mean you're lost, said Time Dragon profoundly. Very true, replied the Big Panda. But in this case, we are definitely, we're definitely lost. The tree has been through some rough times, said Tiny Dragon. Yes, said Big Panda, but it's still here, and it has gained, and it has gained strength and beauty. Hurry, squeaked Tiny Dragon. Squeak! There is so much to do. The river doesn't hurry, said Big Panda. Yet, despite many obstacle, many obstacles, it always gets where it's going. Nothing is happening, said Tiny Dragon. Maybe, said Big Panda. It's happening from underneath first. Sometimes I think I'm not good enough, said Tiny Dragon. The cherry tree doesn't compare itself to other trees, said Big Panda. It just blossoms. Sometimes you just have to be silly. Each, each decision you make on your journey takes you closer or further from, from where you want to go. Make mistakes mean you're trying, said Big Panda. Don't give up. I want to change the world, said Tiny Dragon. Start with the next person who needs your help, replied Big Panda. The map doesn't show where I'm supposed to go, said Tiny Dragon. Your journey isn't shown on any map, said Big Panda. You must discover your own path. I miss him already, said Tiny Dragon. What if he gets hurt? You helped him 
when he needed the most, said Big Panda. And what if he goes on to live a long and happy life? The path ahead looks difficult, said Big Panda. No matter how hard it gets, said the tiny dragon, we'll face it together. I wish this moment could last forever, said tiny dragon. This moment is all there is, said big panda. Thanks for tuning in to my first podcast. Look out for my next podcast on chapter two titled Summer. Until then, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button.